Hi everyone, welcome to A Psychology. If you're new here, hello, I'm Miss M. I am your tutor for everything psychology. So whether you're in the ACE program or whether you just want to be an ACE at psychology, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're always up to date with the latest psychology info and theories. Hello, so welcome into today's video. If you chose a special options of health in the psychology for the A level 990 syllabus, this is the video for you. Now, this video is gonna talk about what you need to know in order to pass that paper three and paper four if you chose health as your topic. Now, a lot of people have questions about the the research studies that are held within each area. So you're going to see five research articles that you are going to have to reference when you are doing your paper three and your paper four. Now, these five research articles, they correspond to five topics within the area of health psychology. Now within these five topics, there are three subtopics of information that you're going to need to know. Now, I'm gonna explain all this to you. I'm actually going right by the syllabus, so if you wanna pull that syllabus up while you're watching, I'm also gonna put little clips up here, and these are sections right from the syllabus, so you know that this is exactly what you need to do in order to pass. Now, just keep in mind that this syllabus, all the information that I have for you here, one, it's gonna be very quick. It's gonna flash up on the screen as I talk. Um, you might wanna take screenshots, you might, wanna you might wanna pause the video, take notes, but just know that this information is not in depth. You're still gonna need to go in depth with this information and understand it. Now, what do you need to know about each of these research articles? Great question. So you're not gonna need to know as much information as you did for AS level, but within your book, you're gonna see maybe a couple paragraphs that are gonna explain each of the studies. So take a look right here. We're gonna go over them. I'm gonna tell you what these studies are, the five studies, and what they're gonna correspond to for the topics in health psychology, okay? So we have SAVAGE, and SAVAGE study is gonna talk about patient-practitioner relationships. Okay, you're gonna have the Yokely study. This is adherence to medical advice. You're going to have the Bird Broodvik study, and this is all about pain. You're gonna have the Bridge study, and this talks about stress. You're gonna have the Shohani study, and this is gonna talk about health promotion. Now, when in a little bit, I'm gonna go over each of those topics and what you need to know within it, and just know that those studies are gonna appear, each study is gonna appear in the topic I just talked about, okay? So, what you need to know in each of these studies. Now, you're going to need to know the context or any behavioral theories or background of the topic that is stated in the book, okay? so. If savage, for example, uh, patient practitioner relationship, when you're reading in your book, and I would suggest you get the book if you don't have it, you're going to see that it's going to be talking about some theories or ideas related to patient practitioner relationships. So you're going to need to know and understand those types of background contexts, okay? Why the study is even being done in the first place. Now you're also going to need to know the aims and the hypotheses of the study. Remember that aim is what we are aiming to see, what we wanna see happen in the study. And a hypothesis is basically a testable aim. Now you're not gonna to have to go into super detail of knowing whether this is a one or two tailed hypothesis like you did in the AS level. You should already know that. But um, you are gonna to need to know things like the design, the methodology, the sampling, um, what are the demographics of the people that we are studying? Is this a lab experiment? Um, how were our participants allocated to the independent variables? You're also gonna need to know a little bit of the, the procedure. What did they have to go through in this study? And then the last thing that I would recommend you knowing is the results and conclusions. And remember, results are numbers. Numbers that we got from our data. The conclusions are the statements we can make at the end of the day with our hypothesis based on those numbers and those results that we get. We are evaluating and analyzing these topics, not so much the studies, all right? Um, now, health psychology, 
what are, let's go over them right now, what are the five different categories. I'm going to do each category by itself and talk about the three subtopics within each. And I'm going to throw a little bit of information up here that is directly from your syllabus. Okay. So don't stray away from the syllabus. The syllabus is your friend. Right. Okay. So the first area is patient practitioner relationship. You're going to need to know patient and practitioner interpersonal skills. You're going to need to know patient and practitioner diagnosis styles. And you're going to need to know mis the misuse of health services according to patient and practitioner relationships. Okay, the second category is adherence to medical advice. Now you're going to need to know the types of non-adherence and reasons why patients do this. Um, why do patients not adhere? You're going to need to know or be able to measure non-adherence. How do you measure that someone is not adhering to medical advice? You're going to need to know how to improve it, adherence to medical advice. The next area is pain. So for these subtopics, you're going to need to know types of theories of pain. You're going to need to know how to measure pain. And you're going to need to know how to manage and control pain. All right, the next topic is stress like how you feel right now trying to study for this exam. <laughs> All right. Sources of stress. Topic one. Measure of stress. How do we even measure stress? And managing stress. Okay. Here is the last topic within the health, uh, the area of health psychology health promotion. You're going to need to know strategies for promoting health. You're going to need to know health promotion in schools and the workplace. And lastly, you'll need to know individual factors in choosing health beliefs. Okay, so I hope I made this very simple for you, at least giving you an outline of what you need to study. Now it's your job to do the work, to go in, look at some of my shorts. I have a lot of shorts on here um, that explain different areas of health psychology. Now, if you need a little bit more help, you can join my Patreon classroom. This is the first year. Well, it's 2024 right now. So check back later if you're seeing this later on. But um, I am offering right now I do have majority of information on abnormal, which is now clinical, and consumer. Now, you can ask me down below if this is a later year or a later time, if I have more information in right in, at, at the moment. Right now, it is February of 2024, and I have focused on those two areas of study. But you need one more area of study. You can't just study health because on paper paper three and paper four, you're going to have to choose two areas. Okay. So health is one of your topics. Now you have to choose another. It's either going to be clinical, it's going to be consumer or organizational. Now, now that you're done with this video and you know what you need to study for health, head over to one of my other videos. I'm going to make this into a playlist. These four videos are going to be in a playlist so you can easily find them. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm assuming that you're going to pass this exam, head to college, and you're going to start taking psychology classes in the future. So you're going to need me in the future because I make more videos than just a ace level. You're just going to be an ace at psychology, right? Okay. Okay, so thanks so much for being here. I really hope this helped you. Leave me a little hello down in the comments and I'll see you in my next video.